Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Lindsay here. Today I'm going to walk you through a MyFuture.net activity called Building a Dam. This is a do-it-yourself STEM activity, so even if you're not a part of MyFuture.net, you can follow along and do the activity. But if you have logged on and started your account, you can upload your project at the end and be closer to earning a badge. So I would encourage you to do that. And um, they also go through these instructions step by step and also include a video where you can watch uh, some beavers actually building a dam, which is very cool. So if you're going to follow along with this activity on myfuture.net, you're going to find it under programs, do it yourself STEM, create, and then it should be the project listed. If you're not on myfuture.net, again, I would encourage you to join. So with that, here's some items you're going to need to build a dam with me today. You're going to need a plastic shoe box. If you don't have one like me, any container that would hold water um, that you could potentially kind of build a dam in would work. You're going to want a pitcher of water because eventually we're going to test our dam um, and we're going to need to pour some water in it to see if it works. You're going to want a paper and pencil of some sort so that you can draw out to your design. And then I also put newspaper down on my table because it's going to get messy. Uh, if you want to complete this activity outside, go for it. So the last thing we're going to need is some materials from outside. So I'm going to go outside and you might want to make sure you have your parents' permission or maybe somebody can take you outside. Um, you would need some sticks, some leaves, rocks, anything that could help you build your dam. To get more information on that, you can click on the video under the project in myfuture.net and it shows you some ideas of how beavers use materials in nature to build dams. So I'm going to go outside and when I come back in, we'll be ready to get started. Back inside from collecting my t materials needed to build my dam. So I got some sticks. Um, I just raked my leaves. Um, so I have some grass clippings and some leaves. And then I also used a little shovel and got some dirt um, because in the video I saw that the beavers were kind of pressing mud up against the sticks to try and help the water to um, not go through. So that's what I collected. So now go ahead and before we get started we need to do some design. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of draw this is what um, my container will look like so I want to like a dam somewhere where it will stop the water if I pour the water on this side it will keep this area completely dry so I'm kind of thinking um, you know if I put down sticks um, so this is my very good image of my sticks um, but the problem is is there's going to be holes so I'm going to want to put in some grass and just uh, maybe wet some of my dirt and try and put some in between. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with that and you can work on yours. from my finished photo. I um, built up the sticks, filled it in with some of my grass and leaves, and then I tried to um, put some um, wet dirt, so mud essentially, on the bottom. So I probably would build it up some more if I could, but for now uh, we're going to go ahead and test my dam. So get ready and we'll see if it leaks. As you can see from the video, my dam ended up leaking. Um, I saw right away it started coming through the corner here. So if I had time to rebuild my dam, I would probably have stopped the water um, so that I could get the water out of there really quickly and just fortify that small area and my dam would have been in pretty good shape. Um, but the cool thing about science and do-it-yourself science is that you can always go ahead and redesign and try again. 
So with that, I've gone through the activity. I hope that you continue to uh, refine your design. You can show me yours below. Certainly, if you get your damn to work, I'd love to know uh, what you did in your design. Uh, then make sure if you're part of myfuture.net, you are uploading your project and getting on your way to earning a badge. I hope that you have a wonderful day and have fun working on your damn.